exercise stream. Okay, let me get you all set up. Just gotta move some stuff. I think I'm just gonna do 10. Three, up, four, up, five, up, sit down, up, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just letting my arms work. To like, so we'll just hit five total each side. Yeah, let's try to like flunk to the side. Come on. I'm just putting my weight on my thighs. I think that's fourth. And the fifth and last one. Watch my technique. Okay. Today I'm gonna go through my routine. Should be pretty quick routine. Make circles. To the left, to the right, up, down, shoulder stretch. <sighs> My focus for today is to stretch out my different muscle groups and try to stay in shape. to just challenge myself and as I often say let yourself be your guide Arm circles. Start small and get slightly bigger. And I thank you for watching those of you that do. I might take a couple days off streaming to uh, recharge washing machines. <sighs> I've got a lot on my mind. <clears throat> okay. Head into my flamingos. is key here. Okay, and back. In the front. And I think 
finish my exercise set, I am going to guide everybody in a mindfulness exercise. As usual, okay, I'm just rising. <laughs> Trying to get my legs up as high as I can. Those are called inchworms or sometimes Frankensteins. Take a deep breath, out, reach for my toes, and then I go directly into my, um, what, what, what are these called again? Inchworms, yeah. Those we just did are Frankenstein's or axe kicks, and then these are inchworms. Just down <clears throat> and back, and I try as I can to keep my legs straight. <clears throat> and back. Okay, feeling pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go into jumping jacks. I'll just shoot for twenty. Small jump going side to side, front to back, knees up low. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, feeling good. Ten star jump squats. Okay, here I go. And if you'd like to join me from home, feel free. Respect your limit and your boundaries. Okay. Whew. Some good exercise. I think there's just no substitute. Catch my breath for a minute. And while I'm doing that, I can think of my next exercise. Top stretches are a good idea. Okay. All right. I'll go for 10 burpees. I go into a high plank. And then back in and up. And when I go up, I like to pretend like I'm shooting a basketball or something. Okay. I can always tie my shorts. Okay, here we go. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm gonna watch the fan. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, just watch out for where the ceiling <laughs> and fan. Okay. While I'm waiting, it's a good time. case some of my strength training just get a jug of water lift up down like it's a big wheel it's like up and down up down and I just go until my arm is tired. And if it's not that challenging, you can go for more reps, more weight. Just going around, around and around. Okay, 
once this arm is tired, then I switch. Right. And down. Oh. Down. There we go. I got the groove. show you guys an inversion that you can do. Up, down. Yeah, and this isn't that heavy, so I can just do like 20 reps. Like it's not too bad. This is my arm to do the lifting. Now this arm getting tired, now I switch. Go down like so, and just lift. Two. Yeah, I probably could do like two or three of these without it getting too heavy. It's not that heavy. So you double time. Double and triple. And maybe like after like thirty or so, switch other side. And just like so. If you don't have a gallon of water. You probably can use like laundry detergent. <laughs> Anything that's heavy. Okay. Okay. For the inversion. Take my sweater, loop it through. Grab and lift. Okay. And lift. And lift. And yeah, these can be as easy or as hard as you make them. <laughs> Like, if you want to add in a lot of weight to the middle, you can. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Now I've got my strength training in. Move on to mountain climbers, slow push ups, slow sit ups, abdominal set, and then we'll go into mindfulness. Okay, for the ground set, I'll move my camera down. As I am known often to do. <laughs> okay, and same again 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I like to go for five total. One. Okay, resting. Five, four, three, two, one, third set. Give it your fire. Okay. Gotta pull my shirt down. Two more. 
here we go. Okay. Coming up on the last set. Okay, all in. And rest. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna try my diamond push up. Slow down. I'll go for five total. So five. It's like slow five. Yeah, it's like slow five. Back, a couple more. Here I go. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh yeah. Okay, pretty good. Careful of your uh, boxers hanging out. <laughs> Cut my leg. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, I have no idea how that happened. <clears throat> like I got done swimming yesterday. I looked down and I was like, whoa, how did that happen? <laughs> I'm of the belief that it might have happened when I was swimming, but yeah, I don't know. If it happened when I was swimming, I didn't see what it was and I didn't feel it at the time. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Might've been a stick or who knows. Okay. And for these sit-ups, it's like slow drop. All right, and don't let me forget the uh, jump squat. <sighs> Forgot to do it on the way down. <clears throat> and back up. Three, two, one, and back. <clears throat> and back. Yeah, totally no idea how I cut my leg. Scratched it. Okay, I've gone over again. Just hold up about six inches above the ground and scissor up. First, left, and right. Right, left, right, left. Right, left. Do it to your tire, then drop. A couple quick breaths. Final set. Here we go. Out and up. Out and up. Try to like reach for the sky. Okay. All right. Here's what I forgot. So I was like, watch out for the couch. One. Two, three, four. Squat. Just like that. Last set. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Our mindfulness journey. Let's get some water first. Okay. 
it's important to stay hydrated and be careful about how much you eat before a good workout because if you're anything like me and you push yourself to the limit you might be seeing your food again soon so watch out I especially find that's the case if I'm engaging in an exercise that requires a lot of movement. Like I remember there was one time on Sunday I was playing lacrosse and I was just running, 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 like playing tight, tight D. And yeah, I, I threw up. There's a girl that was playing with me, and she, her name was Katie Rose, and she sees me throwing up in the trash. She's like, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, just had too much to eat beforehand. But, um, yeah, that's just an example of what can go wrong if you eat too much. A good policy, I would say, is... The more you eat, the earlier you should eat your meal. So if you think if you know you're exercising at like noon and you're having a big breakfast, like try to eat by like six or something like that to give your body at least a couple hours to process that food. Because yeah, otherwise you you might you might throw up. Okay. And yeah, sparring too. I used to be in sparring and sometimes I would just get queasy. Because our uh, martial arts practice was on Saturday morning. And I'd eat breakfast before going to class. And even that, like we had several classes in a row. And by the time we got to the last class, like... It was already two, three hours. And I, I would still feel queasy after that sparring. Because it's like, yeah, you're, you're moving around, you're jumping around. We would have rolling drills and that wouldn't help. But yeah, the sparring especially would like push me physically because... You're like constantly dodging and blocking and... Hitting, kicking, and just keeping up with your partner takes a lot of energy. And that demand tends to take its toll. Okay. Let's see. I'm just looking around to see what technique I can find. I just had cantaloupe too, so. <clears throat> Try to take a pause. Okay. Five senses. We've already done. Three step we've already done. Okay. I would say we could try a couple of different ones today. Three minute breathing, which I think would be better. But if we do um, three minute breathing today, there is one we could do in the future called mindful walking down the street technique. Now, I'm someone who walks all the time. And I would definitely recommend it. Especially if you are in a safe area. 
man. Walking at night used to be so cool. Because I could, like, walk and, like, look up at the stars. <sighs> there are hard times that you may find more than you bargain for when you're walking at night. I'll tell you that. So, yeah, just be uh, aware of your surroundings. Oh. Some, and sometimes it's just hard to see stuff at night. So <laughs> that, that's another factor. I'm someone who had laser eye surgery. And uh, at, at night, sometimes street lamps have this halo effect around them. Where it just looks... Yeah, it looks extra bright. Around the street lamps. And because of that, it can make it kind of hard to see some things at night. So, yeah. If you're like me, and you tend to not have great night vision, you may want to stick to doing what I'm doing nowadays, which is walking about an, uh, half an hour before sun sundown. And what's cool about that is that you can... Enjoy the last few hours of sunlight and see see the sunset, which is in some ways better than looking at constellations at night. It's a trade-off. Like, there's almost nothing quite like looking up at sundown and seeing orange and pink clouds. So, yeah, I would say consider that if you're living in a rough neighborhood and or have poor night vision. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Three minute breathing space. Whew. Unlike meditations or a body scan, this exercise is quick to perform and useful in getting a mindfulness practice started. When I go walking around, I probably walk like a mile or so. When I was living in Northern California and living here in Phoenix, my first few walks are exploratory in nature. I try to find like a good route. And then once I find a good route, I usually stick to that. Sometimes you can adventure out of your route and just kind of explore your city a little bit. Um, but the good thing about sticking to your route is that it's you have a good chance of being able to predict what you see on your route. And yeah, it if you, if you keep doing it every day, it becomes like a routine. And when I go on my walks, I'll also use the Calm app on my phone. And I'll listen to Tamara Levitt and uh, Oh, man. Why am I blanking right now? Yeah, there's Tamara, there's two of them, Tamara Levitt and Jeff Warren. Okay, yeah. And every single day, they'll have, like, meditations that you can listen to on the app. I think the meditations are designed for you to be stationary and seated, like in a meditative posture. Because oftentimes they'll begin their meditations with close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. But over time, I've just started just listening to them on my walk. Just try to listen to some of the things that they say. And I think it's helped me over time. I 
would say that I'm not put in quite as many challenging people situations as I used to be, but when I used to be in those kinds of situations, these lessons would have really helped me out a lot. Because a lot of the time it talks about, they talk about like, how to deal with challenging emotions and situations. Tie, some of the meditations they have, they tie it into famous, famous teachings, like Buddhist teachings. There was one from a couple of days ago, and I had a status about it. It was by Rick Fields. And the quote was, the road to enlightenment is long and difficult, and you should try not to forget snacks and magazines. But, I think that sentiment kind of captures, to a great extent, what a lot of it, a lot of their meditations are about, which is like, finding gratitude in the current moment. <laughs> And yeah, that can be especially hard when you're going through a lot, as I am. But anyway, with meditations in the body scan, the body scan is when you like check in with different parts of your body. Like, what am I hearing? How does the top of my head feel? What am I seeing? What am I hearing? What am I smelling? You just go all the way down, check on each body part. Um, yeah, thoughts often pop up, and keeping a quiet and clear head can be a challenge. This last exercise of three minute breathing space can be the perfect technique for those with busy lives and minds. The exercise is broken into three sections, one per minute, and works as follows. The first minute is spent on answering the question, how am I doing right now, while focusing on the feelings, thoughts, and sensations that arise, and trying to give these words and phrases. Okay. <clears throat> so me personally, I'm worried about the future, I'm not sure yet still which direction my life is going to take have a lot of anxiety and personal turmoil as a result of the ambiguity of my own situation. I am a little bit thirsty, even though I had my drink of water, my lips are dry. I feel physically I feel okay like I'm not hungry I'm sitting in my recliner and I, I phys physically I feel comfortable okay the second minute is spent on keeping awareness of the breath Breathe in and out. Something that Jeff often says in his meditations or it comes back to, to your breath. It's kind of nice, their dynamic between Jeff and Tamara because they give like two different perspectives. With Tamara, it's like aging gracefully and adding perspective to your experiences. With Jeff, it's like changing 
behavioral patterns and thought patterns. And sometimes it's easier for me to relate to Jeff because of that. Maybe it's because we're both also guys. But, it's like, yeah, I think sometimes it's easier to relate to people who've also experienced, like, challenging emotions and difficult episodes. The last minute is used for an expression of attention, outward from the breath. Feeling the ways in which your breathing affects the rest of the body. Just take a deep breath in and out. Okay. Keeping a quiet mind can be rather challenging. It's a little bit challenging for me now because my breathing is a little bit shallow. I just have a stuffy nose or something. The idea is not to block them, but rather to let them come into your mind and then disappear again. Try to just observe them. Welcoming thoughts, feelings, emotions. Greeting them and welcoming them. That's something else Jeff talks about identifying your own thoughts, feelings, emotions, and sensations. All these exercises mentioned above can be used for the benefit of yourself, individual clients, and even in group settings. They're beneficial to all client groups. However, some will be better suited than others. So a method of open-minded trial and error can often be necessary. The most important part of mindfulness is to recognize that it is a training of the mind. And like any exercise, it will take some time to see benefits. The trick is to persevere, approach the process with self-compassion, and allow for reflection, change, and flexibility between different techniques and interventions. Okay. I hope this exercise in fitness has been entertaining and or personally helpful i hope you've enjoyed my exercise and fitness series and my other series as well i hope you all have a nice night and a good weekend stormer show signing out stay warm and dry storm champions